Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ned. Welcome back to another episode of the Discord.js coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing a brand new command handler tutorial. So I've gone ahead and written up this package, and it's called DJS Commands. And I don't know actually how, but it already has 272 downloads. Um, but basically it's an NPM module that's going to add in a command handler and in the future it will like I'll probably write in some more functions for it if I find anything that can be helpful. Um, but yeah, I have a whole setup guide on here, but I figured why not just make a video on it to show you guys how to really use it and just quickly use it. So to do this, I'm going to be a creating a brand new bot and whoops, that guy and we're just going to go ahead and pull that up in our Visual Studio code. And I have a terminal open here, and I'm just going to npm in it. And I'm just going to do dash y to accept everything automatically. And we're just going to go ahead and install a couple things using npm once that's done. All right, so as you can see, it went ahead and just did everything for us. So let's go ahead and npm i discord.js dash save and let that install. All right, so now you can see we have our node modules. Let's go ahead and install Discord JS or DJS dash uh, commands as well. And dash save. Let that install. This one shouldn't take as long since this is going to be a much shorter or much smaller package. Um, and now that those two are installed, I think we can just go ahead and start creating our bot. So um, index.js. And as well, you're going to need a token. So I've gone ahead and copied um that from outside just because i don't want to leak my token i don't want to have to um i don't want to have to reset my token so let's go ahead and bring in discord js and then we'll create a new bot discord.client and i'm not going to pass anything in we're just going to leave that empty for now um so bot.on or login uh, we need to bring that token in as well. Uh, require token JSON. There we go. Just gonna make this consistent, and then token dot token. All right. Now the bot is logged in. I know this is all basic. I'm flying through it because I've done it a bunch of times. Um, I'm sorry about that. If you guys are trying to learn how to learn or write your first Discord JS bot, go ahead and watch my first tutorial. Um, that'll help you get started and then come here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and keep on going. So bot.on, let's give it a ready event. Um, we're just going to go ahead and create our arrow function and we'll just console.log um, bot.user.username is online. Whoops. All right, so now we need to bring in the command handler. Um, now that we have actually have a functioning bot that will turn on, um, and we could test that. Let's just go ahead and do node index.js. Source tutorial is online. I'm going to open up Discord. There you can see it. Bot's online. We're working. So let's go ahead and bring in that command handler. Um, so const, and then we're going to need to bring in the command handler. As an object, require, um, oops, and then DJS, whoops, commands. There we go. I don't know why that didn't show up. Maybe because I mistyped, but should be good. And now let's go ahead and just create a new instance of that. Oops, if I can type. And we're going to need to set up some options here. So let's go ahead and set the folder to their name, which is just going to get the location of this file and then we're going to set that to plus and then we're going to give it commands and just make sure to add that extra on the end just so it we need that later on um, if you guys want an explanation of how this command handler actually works like the back end of it i have it all right here this is the note or the module right here um, 
But if you guys want an explanation on that, just re feel free to comment down below and I'll go ahead and do that. So let's set up a prefix and this is going to take an array. Um, I believe, yeah, if you don't use an array, I actually set it up to just make it an array. So that's fine as well. So I'm just going to give it an array of question mark. So let's go ahead. And now that that is done, we can go ahead and just set up a bot.on message event. Give it variable message, set up the arrow function. Oh, the wrong key. There we go. All right. So let's just go ahead and paste in some message parsing just to avoid that. And I'm going to add one more. So if message.author.id does not equal, I'm going to grab my ID. Don't add this if you're making a public bot. Um, I'm just adding this so the bot only listens to me just for testing purposes. So if it doesn't equal my ID, then it's going to return. Sorry if that's confusing. Um, but yeah, it's just the easiest way to record. So uh, now we need to get the command or ch rather check if the command exists. So let CMD equal ch.get command. And then we're going to pass in command. And if command return but if it makes it past that we're going to try cmd.run and we're going to pass it bot message args catch and we need to catch it as well error console.log error all right so our main our index.js is done now we just need to go ahead and create a folder called commands. And then let's go ahead and create a file called test.js. All right, now that we have our command file, we need to go ahead and just module.exports equals class test. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna need a constructor. I know I haven't gone over any of this, and there will be tutorials on stuff like this in the future. Um, but this is just going to be the, um, you just need to set up the name. So test and this dot alias. Oops. And we're going to give it an array. I'm just going to call it T. Oh, there we go. And this dot usage. We're not going to use this dot usage today. Um, we're just, it will be used in the future. So let's go ahead and have a run function and it's going to take bot message args and make sure these are in the same order as the, um, as the, uh, the CMD dot run because that will matter. All right. So let's go ahead and message dot reply and we can go ahead and do this dot name plus worked and that'll just ping us with a message saying uh, test work. So let's go ahead and try that. And it says found one file to load, loading command test, done loading commands. The source tutorial is online. So let's go to discord question mark test. And there it is. Test work. Our command handler is all set up. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like. If you want to see the explanation video, basically, or a tutorial on how to make your own command handler like this one, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you need any help with anything, go ahead and join our Discord, and I'll see you guys next time.